Hey, what's up? In this video, I am going to show you how to create a action bar on the top here and an action bar on the bottom. So I'm not going to create this this app that you see right here, not yet anyway. Um, I'm just going to I'm going to do it in steps. So the first step is going to be creating this action bar on the top and then creating the action bar also on the bottom. I got this idea because I was kind of just browsing my Instagram and uh, I noticed at the top they have this a slider and you can uh, navigate to different fragments I'm assuming and then at the bottom they have this other kind of navigation system where you can navigate by clicking on what looks to be image views to me so uh, I'm gonna start kind of at step one and we're gonna create an app and build this action bar on the top and build this action bar on the bottom so let's get started so I'm gonna create a new project I'm gonna call it action bar and just next next I'm just gonna make it an empty activity and main activity is fine. All right, let's go into um, activity main and get rid of this text view. And you'll notice here that we can't actually create app bars. So we need an external library to help us out. Constraint layouts don't uh, allow us to create the act action bars. We need to grab an external library and that external library is a coordinator layout. So this is a blog post from Android Authority and they talk about, uh, it's a really good blog post, they talk about coordinator layouts and kind of all the things you can do with floating action buttons, action bars, uh, action bars that actually will slide up as you go up wherever they are somewhere. Anyway, but we are just going to grab this dependency. So this is what we need to use the um, constraint layout, uh, or sorry, co coordinator layout dependent. Um, this is what we need to use coordinator layouts. So we'll just grab that and go into uh, build.gradle and paste it in and we're going to change this because it's saying oh you have version 25 so you need to use version 25 so we'll change to version 25 it's still mad it's saying okay look uh, a newer version is available so we'll change it to 25.1.0 and that should be good let's sync everything looks okay okay we'll close that and we'll go now we'll go back into activity main and i'm going to change this i'm going to start typing coordinator layout and you can see there it is perfect and there we go. So now we have our coordinator layout. Now we can insert these app bar layouts. So we want to match parent on the width and just wrap content for the height. And then inside of these app bar layouts, we can create toolbars. So we can go toolbar, um, match parent width again, and wrap content for the height. And we're going to give them, actually, we don't actually, we don't need to give them IDs. Oh, we can't. Yes, yeah, sure. Let's give it ID. We'll call this uh, toolbar top. And then we also need a toolbar on the bottom. So we're gonna copy this whole thing and paste it below. And we'll go call this one toolbar bottom. Whoops, bottom. And then we need to set the gravity for it to bring it to the bottom of the screen. So we just go set that to bottom. Oh, whoops, we have to set the app bar to the bottom. There we go. Okay, so now we have we have two bars. We have a toolbar for the bottom and we have a toolbar for the top. But now we have this thing up top here, this uh, this action bar. We don't really need that, right? Like if we look at, uh, oh, I closed it. But if you looked at what Instagram looks like, the, that, that doesn't exist. That thing isn't there. So to get rid of that, we need to go into the manifest and we need to actually change the theme. Sorry, not not in the manifest. We need to go into styles because this, this pulls the theme. So this is where you declare your app theme right here. It actually references it in the manifest uh, here. So it's it's setting the theme to app theme, which is actually declared here. This is app theme. So what we want to do is it's it's declaring this dark action bar, but what we want to do is just go no action bar. So now if we go back into our preview, so we can see now our app bar is gone. The action bar at the top is gone, but now we have another problem. This is black, but we can fix that by just changing the background color to white. So let's go into colors and we'll create a new color. Just copy that, paste it, and I'll call it color white. And just go FFF and that's fine. And don't need the manifest. We can go back to activity main. And then we'll set the background color for the coordinator layout. So background uh, reference color and go color white. There we go. So there we go. Now we have our action bar at the top and we have our action bar at the bottom. So it's pretty easy to change the colors. You would just like 
come into here and I could go, or not into here, sorry. Come into the toolbar and you could go color, or sorry, background, and do the same thing as what I did up there. I could go change it to white or change it to um, whatever, right? Like you, you can just declare colors in here and then reference them here and you can change the color of it. So I'm actually gonna stop the video here. I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to create toolbars and how to use the coordinator layout. I also just wanted to um, quickly talk about my new website. I'm still building it, but um, my old website was really bad. It was just like a WordPress website. It was very poorly organized. Um, so I built a brand new uh, Django website and uh, it's coming together. It's not all there, but I hope to I hope to get all my tutorials up here. So I've got all my beginner ones up so far, a couple of Firebase ones. Um, it's a lot of work because uh, as you can see, I'm putting videos and I'm also writing the code in here too. And uh, there's even a little comment section. So if you wanted to sign up, you would just go over to uh, create account and you can enter your email, username, and password and confirm your password and register. Um, I'm not gonna use that information for anything. It's just so you guys can comment on my videos or um, eventually I'm going to make a video course and uh, so that's how you're going to be able to access the video course too. But yeah, so if you want to check that out, check that out. If this video was helpful, don't forget to leave a like. Follow me on Twitter for notifications when new tutorials are posted. Subscribe if you haven't already and thanks for watching.